everybody, and welcome back to another episode of This Week's Stoke. I know it's a new year, but don't worry. New stuff is going to continue to come out, and I'm really excited about the content for this week. I am here with one of my really good friends, Ali Nolmeyer, who really just had a personal best in Zagreb in the World Cup slalom, and I'm so psyched for her because that fifth place is just the beginning. So not only is Ali a member of the Canadian national team, but she's also a junior at Middlebury College. So Ali has a lot to share about how to really balance being a student athlete. Ali, thank you so much for taking the time to come on today. I can't wait to talk through some of this stuff with you and share it with the community. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. So I guess really the first part and how we should start this off is, can you talk a little bit about your story? How did you get to here? What has been your background in ski racing? And really this point in the sport that you've gotten to at this point. Kind of a family thing that we did. My parents like started us because um, I have three siblings, so it was a lot of energy and they kind of wanted to, um, yeah, get rid of some of that energy. <laughs> so we kind of started as like a family thing and then um, I ended up really liking it and all my siblings had either raced or had some part in skiing. So um, we really liked it as a family. Uh, and then I kind of just, yeah, I really liked it. I kept going with it. Um, I ended up going to Green Mountain Valley School for high school, uh, which was huge. And I think that really helped me kind of learn how to organize my life in a way that I could manage um, skiing and everything outside of skiing. So um, that was a really cool experience. And then uh, from there, I made the Canadian development team and I was on there for a couple years before um, I got injured and, and sort of started rehabbing and then ended up starting at Middlebury, which um, was super awesome and is super awesome. I love it a lot. So uh, yeah, that's kind of how I got to here and just been working hard and um, yeah, and enjoying it. Yeah, so you've definitely had an awesome path and not to say it was an easy one. I know with the injury in the middle there, you definitely had to overcome a lot of obstacles, but we're glad that it's taken you to this path that now you're managing both World Cup and Middlebury skiing. So let's go back to really the main question here. How are you feeling after Zagreb? Like it is amazing. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, I'm like, it's still kind of sinking in. Um, we got back to the hotel pretty late last night because it was uh, like an afternoon evening race here. Um, and then we had COVID tests for the next race and it was just kind of crazy. So it's still sinking in, but I'm super excited. Um, I think as a team, like even all the Canadian girls, um, we had a, a really good day. Um, obviously, a low messed up in the first round and Aaron in the second but the the speed is all there and we're all um we're all fast and we can all be there so I think as a team it's really exciting too um and just for myself um I've been making some mistakes in races lately and and kind of been struggling a bit so to have that result under my belt um is really awesome I'm I'm really excited yeah well, you talked about two things that I think are pretty important here. First, the team, but then also just having this result under your belt. So let's start with the result under your belt. How does that work as you're moving into the rest of the season and it's an Olympic year? Does that help motivate you? Does that help you feel more confident? How do you use that result to help you as the season progresses? Yeah, I think this result was really nice because it um, – solidified like a qualification for the Olympics, which I wasn't um, officially qualified for. So um, in terms of that, it's really nice kind of just um, to be able to breathe and, and just focus on the skiing, not that I wasn't before, but it takes that pressure off. Um, so yeah, in terms of that, it's really nice. And yeah, just having momentum going into the next couple of races, this is a big uh, solemn block for us. So yeah, I'm excited to take this into the next two races and then hopefully into the Olympics and through the rest of the season. That's huge. And you mentioned really now the team has this great pace and speed as well. You have a super young tech team right now with the Canadian women's team. How does that energy and that environment help? And are you using that to help you find success? Yeah, I think we definitely do have a young team and we have um, some of our veterans are obviously really fast. So I think it's a good combination. We have good pace and then a lot of um, good fresh energy from from the younger girls coming in too. So I think the combination of the two has been huge and it's really starting to mesh well and, and like in training for, I'm mostly with the Solemn girls, so I'll speak to that, but um, we're all pushing each other like every day and 
someone's always faster so we're always trying to chase each other and I think having that dynamic is is really cool and definitely super helpful and just trying to get better and faster yeah environment and a good team is really important and I think this is a great way to transition to your other environment and other team that's at Middlebury how has being a college student and a student athlete at Middlebury helped you prepare for World Cup success um yeah I think well so back when I was injured in 2017 I definitely struggled coming back from that rehab and I, I found it really hard. Um, my first year back, um, just, I, I felt like I was alone a lot and didn't really have the same drive for skiing. So when I went to mid, I kind of like re re found that love for skiing and the team atmosphere and just, um, how fun it can be. So having my mid teammates just be so supportive all the time is, is so nice. And I think bringing that into like who I am on the national team too is super awesome and trying to bring um that like team atmosphere as much as we can like into an individual sport is really really cool so um yeah I think just having the college vibe and and feeding off of that and being able to to try to bring that into some some of the world cup circuit is is really cool and it's been yeah an awesome experience so not only do you just ski for Middlebury, but you also go to class and you're a student. Can you talk a little bit about how you're managing it all? Not only are you traveling all over Europe racing World Cup, but you're also going to travel around the East and race for Middlebury, I'm assuming. And then you're also managing classes. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, this um, this fall was was a lot. It was <laughs> it was a lot of work, but I have um really awesome like friends and peers at school that also helped me like with with giving me notes and stuff if I miss class so that's a huge part of it um and I'm super grateful for them and then just uh yeah I don't know like managing time and and being on top of workload um it's really easy to get hot behind in school so <laughs> trying to stay on top of all that stuff and then the professors at mid um are pretty awesome at at trying to help uh, work around it. So I think all that together is really helps just make it manageable. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I don't know how you do it. You've got to have like some secret sauce that makes it so that you can manage all those things. Like, is there one trick that you think other than notes and just time management that helps you keep it all together? And so you don't lose track of anything. Yeah, I, I, well, <laughs> my some of my friends hate me for this but um I set alarms on my phone so my phone is constantly buzzing and it drives people nuts but um that helps me remember things because sometimes I'll just in the middle of the night or something I'll remember something so I'll just write it down set alarm for the next day um or I have like an agenda that I write uh, everything I need to do the next day so that's really helpful for me especially when I have a lot going on because it's hard to like take a breath when it's all in your head. So just putting it down on paper really helps me. No, that's huge. And just being able to sometimes cross it off, I bet is a little bit of a victory. So with that yeah. in mind, can you talk a little bit about what your plan is for being at Middlebury this winter? Are you planning on racing part of the EISA circuit and running around the carnival scene? Yeah, yeah, that's my plan right now. Um, hopefully like with COVID and everything, it'll all work out, fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's my plan. And I'm really excited to race carnivals. Um, last year, mid didn't participate. So we didn't get that kind of carnival vibe, which was a bummer. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to racing some carnivals and skiing for mid and just having fun. No, I love that. And I think it's cool to be able to switch between World Cup to carnivals and make sure you get your class done at the same time. Um, so now we kind of have to ask the fun question. I don't know if everybody's been seeing it, but they have to check it out. The Alpine Canada woman Instagram and TikTok seems to be blowing up. So I need to know, when are you going to make your appearance? I don't know. Maybe soon. Um, I was, I was away when they made, uh, those first couple TikToks over Christmas. So I did miss those, but maybe, maybe the next batch I'll make a, make an appearance. We'll see. 
All right, Allie. Well, we'll be psyched to see your quick feet, make some dancers on the TikTok. And for everybody out there, check out Alpine Canada Women. They've got a great team, a great environment, and Allie's doing amazing things. So, Allie, thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to me. Congratulations on your fifth place at Zagreb. We know there's more to come, and we're so excited to see you succeed, not only in the World Cup stage, but also crushing the carnival circuit in college and the NCAA circuit. So thank you, good luck, and to everybody watching, I hope you learned a little bit about how to manage your time, some tricks to cross things off your list and take the little wins, and just know that you can do it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me.